live and what's happening. For those who do not know, the Atom text editor has pretty much been killed off by Microsoft. They don't want to develop Atom anymore because they developed VS Code, which is their proprietary IDE text editor, and they don't want to maintain Atom because they don't see the point. Okay, so here's a quick note during edit that I thought of. A lot of people may try to tell me in the comments section that VS Code was open sourced by Microsoft. That is only half true. What was open source was the Code OSS core, which is the main part of VS Code. However, what Microsoft does is add their own proprietary elements to the Code OSS engine and release the VS Code product, which makes it a proprietary program. So Code OSS is open source, but the VS Code product is not, which kind of tells you that Microsoft really doesn't care about free and open source software. They'd rather manage their proprietary applications. So another group has taken the Atom text editor and forked it into a new project called Pulsar. So we're going to take a quick look into Pulsar. So here we are on the project site, and it's just the project site where you can download it, find out more about the project, etc. And here's the download page right here. It says under construction, it's a new project. And I will tell you it's in alpha or beta testing right now because they're just getting it started. And of course, they haven't really released it to any repositories like Ubuntu or Debian or Snapcraft or Flathub. But here are some binaries that they've built. I've actually just noticed this. And I'm going to report this to developers. They've got these wrong because dev packages are not all distributions. RPM is definitely not Debian or Ubuntu. That should be up in, by the dev package. App images should say all distributions, and so the, should the tar.gz. And Fedora slash rail should be RPM. So I'm going to go ahead and email the developers so they can get that fixed. I've already pulled down the dev package because I'm on Ubuntu, so we'll go ahead and uh, install it in just a minute. Also, it's actually licensed under the MIT license, which is a free and open source license. It actually makes sense because Atom as a project was pretty much licensed under the MIT license as well. Um, now, there are bits and pieces that they used that were licensed under the Apache and I believe the BSD license. But mainly, the stuff that GitHub did for Atom was licensed under the MIT license. And so is the PPM for it as well. So let's go ahead, let's get this installed. I got a terminal here, I put it on my desktop, so CD uh, desktop. And now I'm just going to do a sudo uh, dpkg-i. And I believe, yeah, there it is, also. And we're just gonna go ahead and install this. Okay, so we got it installed. Okay, so now that we got it installed, we're gonna go to menu and development. And here's Adam. Uh, I'm probably gonna be removing this from the system because it's no longer being maintained anymore but I believe this is actually installed as a snap, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that from the system soon. And here's Pulsar. Pulsar doesn't seem to have an icon set in the package, but that's okay. I can update that myself, I'm not worried. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start up Pulsar right now. So here is Pulsar, and it looks just like Atom, uh, which is not surprising. Um, we have the welcome screen here. They've got links to the, to the uh, documentation, the GitHub of uh, discussions, which is the forum, and pulsar.org. I, I imagine that's going to be a project website. And we're just going to go ahead and close out of that because we don't need that. Here's the welcome guide, so you can open up, so you can uh, get to know Pulsar. 
can go through and um, play around with this. I usually don't. I'm going to go ahead and hit add folder here. I'm going to go to my home and do the, and we're going to press control H and we're going to go to doc config just because that's some place I will text edit it often. And we're just going to go ahead and open up a, a config file right here. And here's of course, the htop config file. And I can edit just fine, you know, that that's that's just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. Um, here's the MPV, I, oh wait, I haven't configured MPV yet. Um, here's the Pulsar config files, right here. So, um, it's just, a, it's just an IDE text editor, uh, VLC, of course there's VLC right here. Now of course Atom is known from being hackable and extensible, so you have the packages right here, so you can go ahead and open up, do this, you can open up the package manager right here, just like in Atom. So let's see what packages I can install. Probably Atom packages are compatible with with Pulsar as well. Um, so here's your Pulsar. See, see here's the Atom. A here's some Atom packages. They're working on rebranding things. So of course it's going to show Atom here. I can go ahead and enable, disable bookmarks, um, stuff like that. So. These are the packages that are installed on the system. Let's just go ahead and search packages. What I like to do is install a clock. So, um, Atom clock, that's fine. So yes, Atom packages are working with Pulsar. So that's gonna go ahead and install. Um, you can update your packages themes. Here's one duck. That's what I'm on. I can go ahead and change it. That's Adam duck, but I like one duck first. Better. Um, but you can download more themes as well. Um, here's your key bindings. You can change your key bindings. I mean, this is just basically Atom, um, but I think that the development team is planning on doing some different things with Pulsar and actually developing more features to it. But of course, here is there, Atom clock, settings. I can configure it right here. There you have it. Um, of course, Atom was a GitHub project, so here's your GitHub integration right down here. Uh, dot config, so I can log in right here. I probably will do that later. Here's your Git. Um, here's your Git integration as well down here. So there you have it, the Pulsar text editor. I will link down to the project down below in the description. Go ahead and check it out, and. I would highly suggest that you download Pulsar instead of Atom now because Pulsar is being maintained and Atom is soon going to start developing security holes because it's no longer being maintained. So Pulsar Editor, go ahead and try it out. I'm a big fan of Atom, so I'm going to be a big fan of Pulsar as well. So that's all I have for you and I will see you in the next video.